all, thanks uh, for inviting me here. It's uh, a great pleasure and a great honor. Uh, I'm Chiara Giovenzana, and the message that uh, I want uh, to bring you today is uh, stop whining, stand up and try. Try again and try again. So I agree with you that often the world seems to be kind of bad, seems to be maybe designed for old people, not for young people. Maybe it's designed for people not that are the best or that are good, but for people that, that can pay. So maybe it's not the best environment. I agree with you, but complaining, you will not do anything. So look up and see what are the opportunities that you can have and try them, try again. Don't stop at the first time if you fail the first time. This is the message that I want to bring you and that I really believe. So it's uh, 1906 and we are in San Francisco. There has been a devastating earthquake. So great devastation. There's an Italian guy, Giannini, who took a desk, put it on the street, and he started to lend money to people willing to rebuild the city. So he was the first one who tried to do something, and he also pushed other people to do something and to try. And this desk on the street became Bank of America later on. Now, Let's go back to Italy, to our days. So what are the opportunities that we can have? So the first one is Fulbright Vest. So it's six months in Silicon Valley, fully paid, where you can learn how to transform an idea into business. You really breathe the entrepreneurial life that is there. And you live with other students, with other people, that really share your passion, your vision to do something. So this is uh, the first uh, thing. And there, there are new ideas, new passions that can really start. And when you come back, uh, you have the choice either to do what you've uh, learned, what you started to think, or to give it up. And my idea is try, try again. The second opportunity is Singularity University. So, 10 weeks in Silicon Valley at, at NASA Ames with other 80 people from everywhere in the world. And there you study, you learn about exponential technology. So the technologies that are uh, improving and changing in an exponential way. And uh, you study with them, you share ideas, you share feeling, and you create friendship. And these people are all uh, what they have all in common is that they share the passion and the vision to do something good for the world. They want to change the world. It can seem impossible, too big. But what is impossible? Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. So, for example, is it impossible that a young woman, a scientist, a researcher, can start a company and work for a company, being a CEO of a company? So the jump is huge. This is research and this is entrepreneur. It seems probably too big. It's something that you don't know. It's amazingly too big, but it seems. But if you try, you can learn it, talking with people, discussing, failing, uh, reading. You can create the team, you can create the company, and then things start to go. You have just to try. Don't complain and try. And this is Select Biotech, the company that I co-founded. I did not alone. You, you need the help of other people, but you can do it. This is very important to know. Of course, looking for opportunities and trying 
to improve your life, to change something, to do something and stop uh, complaining, doesn't mean that you lose your identity. Doesn't mean that you forget or you give up what is most important for you. So these are my grandparents, and that's where I come from. Creating a family doesn't mean that if you want to be the CEO of a company, you have to give up the idea of having your family. I come from Modena, so these are tortellini. It doesn't mean that you lose your tradition, you forget where you come from. That's, that's you. Another thing important to try is that you have to change in your mind the concept of failure. So is a sunset a failure? The sun is dying. Is that a failure? Is winter a failure? So really, stand up and try, and try again. Don't be scared to fail. It's not the end. The end is when you stop thinking that you can make it. That's the real end. But not if you fall down and you fail. That's fine. Start again. So right now, I would like to ask you to open the package that you have. Because for me, a children, a child that is playing with Lego is the symbol of the message that I want to give you. Because a child that is trying to build something is assembling, disassembling, destroying, rebuilding, is not afraid to fail, is uh, He's trying to build something. Often he doesn't even know what he's building. So where is this kid now? This is the kid that is in each of you. Where is this child? So really, stop whining, stand up, and try again, and you will make it. Thanks a lot. <laughs>